It's a pretty new building, and it's an even newer addition. But now, a major part of the mega million dollar metro detention center, the jail, needs an immediate and expensive repair job on its roof. News 13's Jeff Todd is live downtown. Jeff? The recent weather has really uh, had good and bad effects on the roof. The wind has continued to tear chunks in the roof, but it hasn't leaked because there's been no rain. The $85 million jail is only eight years old, and it's already falling apart. Now, a 50,000-square-foot section of the Metro Detention Center's roof needs to be replaced. The roof wasn't installed properly. And with monsoon season potentially on the way, the jail could be in trouble. That water will just keep running until... Um, it finds the lowest point, which could be anywhere in the institution. We could suffer damage to electronics, computers, wherever it starts to leak. The damaged section of roof is above the vital intake and segregation units. The county says it's known about the faulty roof for about a year, but now it's to the point where it'll get dangerous and even more expensive if it's not fixed. Our staff noticed a lifting of the roof and pulling away from the parapets of the roof itself. And the conclusion was we can't wait. Last night, the county commission approved $630,000 for a new roof. Now it's up to the interim county manager to approve a bid as soon as possible. Optimistically, we should see them start working middle of June. The county says it's looking into taking legal action against the contractor that built the jail and the subcontractor that installed the roof, but making the repairs first because a legal case could just take too long. We will leave uh, essentially no stone unturned and trying to seek recovery. Today we talked with the construction company Bradbury Stam. The owner says that he has not been contacted by the county about any of these roof problems, and he says that it's actually county inspectors that signed off on the roof. Dick, back to you. All right, Jeff, it's been endless problems out there. You might remember the jail opened a year late and over budget in 2003. The county and Bradbury Stam blamed each other for the problems.